the sales uh, material for you guys and gals uh, in a planning uh, kind of role we did. So looking up on the screen now, it was hard to believe that about 20 years ago this was the light truck lineup for Honda. And I'm going to talk about this in about five more slides, but uh, look at that first generation Odyssey and the first generation CRV. That's kind of basically what started it all. Uh, but basically, now we're going to look at who buys a mid-size pickup uh, in the volume. Uh, so the segment that we compete in, Colorado Canyon, Tacoma, um, Nissan has a product that's about 300 to 350,000 units a uh, year. Uh, Ridgeline, of course, is adding incremental volume to that segment. But the thing about Ridgeline, our launch now comes at a fantastic time. 2017, we look at this as kind of a white space. Uh, a lot of other products launched a year or two ago. Uh, Ridgeline is launching now in a, in a time where there's really not a whole lot of competitive activity in the segment. What makes Ridgeline different? When you look at inflow from these body-on-frame pickups, you see inflow from other body-on-frame pickups, and they buy body-on-frame pickup over and over again. What we saw different on the first generation Ridgeline is we, of course, saw pickup inflow, uh, but we saw CUV, SUV inflow as well. And how that separates us and why we appreciated that is if you've driven a pilot or you're used to a comfortable ride and you want utility with seating flexibility, you get all of that with Ridgeline. You get awesome utility, you get great interior cargo, uh, you get safety that's unmatched in, 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 in the segment. So, uh, we look at that as an area of opportunity um, to even further improve but as well for the next Ridgeline. Uh, Ridgeline customer, basically like the other pickups, uh, predominantly male. Uh, and Ridgeline, on the other hand, has the highest household income and highest college education as well in the segment. Looking at our trim structure, car on the left came in uh, four-wheel drive only. We had an RT all the way up to basically an RTL Navi, uh, special edition trim. Moving over to the right side, the 2017 model carries all of those trims over, but we did add two-wheel drive uh, to the mix, and we also added an RTLT, an RTLE, and a black edition, so we added trims on the top for customers, again, who appreciate luxury, appreciate a nice fine ride, a nice quiet ride, and the, but still want the utility of a pickup. Uh, what that looks like on paper, I don't have anybody, uh, nobody will have to remember this, it's all in your packet, uh, but Luann, here's your, your uh, MSRPs. Uh, we are starting $100 cheaper than the outgoing 2014 model, uh, which is a keynote. So we started around high 20s and uh, we go all the way up to low 40s on the black edition. Looking at this trim mix, looking at these, uh, the price MSRP, the features you get, uh, it's a common term we say, uh, Ridgeline for everybody. We say that CRV for everybody, Civic for everybody, but this really does cover a wide variety of customers that kind of falls within that Honda lineup as well. You got it parked? All right. Uh, Two-wheel drive, where do we look to increase sales? California is a state that when vehicles offer a two and a four-wheel drive variant, anywhere between 80 to 90% of cars are sold in California are two-wheel drive. Uh, we never had two-wheel drive in the past, so our dealers are very happy about this. Dealers in the Sunbelt states, customers in the Sunbelt states, so we're asking and telling me and Carrie, I didn't want an all-wheel drive, I wanted a two-wheel drive. Well, now we satisfy those customers as well. Uh, so we've uh, said a lot of uh, best in class, I think you've probably heard that. Uh, I counted about 60 times in this presentation we said the word best in class. Uh, but we truly are. Uh, you look up, I tried to look up in the, the thesaurus, what's another way I could say best in class? Segment leading, um, no, you know, no compromise, but the truth of the matter is we're best in class in so many different attributes. And it's not just by a small amount, it's not just uh, a little bit quieter we're a lot quieter. It's not just a little bit of cargo room in the interior of the second row. We're substantially larger. We offer utility that's second to nobody, uh, whether it be flexible, spacious interior, whether we're towing, okay, 5,000 pounds towing, tow our car with 5,000, tow a competitor with 5,000. No other truck drives better than the Bridge Line. On-road, off-road, you're gonna experience that over the next two days. Technology, Android, Auto, CarPlay, uh, in bed trunk, 400 watt, Honda Sensing, no competitor offers this. TSP Plus, no competitor offers this. We're substantially better than everybody on the market. So I uh, obviously want to thank the team because there's been a lot of hard work, a lot of dealers, a lot of customers have been asking for this and we're coming through. The car will be on sale uh, this June. Uh, we don't have a date yet, but look for it then. Uh, and on that note, I started off with that lovely yellow CRV in that first generation Odyssey. I end it with this lineup. No competitor offers 
a wider variety of products, starting from an entry compact CUV of HRV, which dealers, I mean, they literally can't keep them on the lot. Customers are coming in and buying them on the spot. CRV, it's been the number one selling CUV for you know, 10 or 12 years. Uh, Pilot uh, came out strong about a year ago. Odyssey, still in its sixth year, it's the king of minivans. You can't buy a better minivan than the Odyssey. And then that Ridgeline kind of ties all of that up uh, for the, the best uh, light truck lineup, basically, in the industry. Thank <laughs> you.